The work go to work. Foot work till it hurt. It get worse, get a nurse. Couple bins when they serve. Hey guys, and welcome back to Life with Latoya Martana, and I'm here with another video. So today I'm going to tell y'all how I got to 100 subscribers in exactly six days. You heard me right, six days. <laughs> and I have my notebook here, so I So the first thing I did when I decided that I wanted to um, get serious on YouTube and I uploaded my first video, cause I didn't really send it to no one for them to look at it. But I uploaded my first video and I sent it to, um, I sent my YouTube link to a few of my family members. I only sent it to about four so they could go and subscribe to me and also tell me what they thought about my video. Um, but I encourage you to send it to as many family and friends that you want to. Um, so if you just want to send it to the ones that's really close to you, that's okay. If you don't mind sending it to everybody, then that's even better. With me, I'm more so, I'm okay with your opinion but i'm not so much okay with the people that i know opinion <laughs> i don't know why and um so i really haven't put it out yet like i haven't even used social media my social media platforms but i encourage you to use your social media platforms if you really you know don't care and that's a great way to get a following and even if they're not gonna follow you you know by subscribing guess what they're gonna go watch because they're nosy and that's what people do. So let them watch you and gain you some watch hours. It's okay. <laughs> the second thing I did was I'm in a lot of groups because I just moved here to North Carolina. And I'm in a lot of groups so I can get to know uh, different things about North Carolina and get to meet friends. So I was able to post my link to my YouTube. And basically, I basically posted and described what my YouTube channel was about and ask people to go go watch if they were interested in my YouTube and interested in what I do. For them to go watch and if they wanted to, they could subscri subscribe and leave a comment. But I really wanted, you know, to gain organic subscribers. Those who are really, really gonna watch my videos when I put them out because you don't want a bunch of subscribers but they never watch your videos because from what I've been reading and listening to that it's going to confuse youtube and you really want to get a lot of traffic from your subscribers not just people who are not going to subscribe to you the next thing i did was i commented on other youtubers channels so basically what i would do is if it's a youtuber who i watch or they do the exact same things that I do on my channel. I will go to their comments. Once I watch their videos, because I really do watch the videos, <laughs> I will go to their comments and I will leave like a, a nice comment. You know, hey, I loved your video. Hope to see you my way. Or uh, one, one girl, she had posted a video and when she posted the video, she was talking, it was about a synthetic wig and she was saying that how she was just gonna keep shaking it so the shine would go away. I don't know how that was gonna work. So I gave her a tip and my tip was, okay, if you have a synthetic wig, the best thing for you to do to take the shine away so it doesn't look synthetic is to spray dry shampoo up there. So I gave her that tip and told her I was a new, a new subby and also a new YouTuber myself. So never the sub for sub because from my understanding, YouTube will not monetize you and can delete your YouTube channel for asking people to sub for sub. So I felt like that was a great way because a lot of people love people to be positive and also your Facebook name. So my name is Life with Latoya Montana. So if you're on somebody else's YouTube um, channel and you're looking at their video and you see my comment, it says Life with Latoya Montana. So the first thing you're going to say is, oh, they have a YouTube channel. Well, let me click up there and check that out. So a lot of people will do that because that's what happened. I do that a lot when I'm looking at other people's channels and I see, you know, people in the in the comments, I'll go to their channel. The number one thing that I did was 
I took a class with a, a well-known YouTuber. Her name is Peach McIntyre. And when I took her class, I decided to do a review. And I really didn't even do a review on her class. I did more so on a review that she made me feel like anything was possible. She made me feel like I could just be my regular, regular self <laughs> and get up here and give y'all this tea or do these hauls, do this clean with me. Girl, just use what you got. So people love reviews, especially when it comes to them spending their money because a lot of people will go look for a review like they'll want to take someone's class, but of course they want to see the reviews. And from what I know, I was the first person who did an actual review on YouTube because I'm the first one that comes up when you put it in. So I gained a lot of traffic from um, that video. And I also got a lot of views. I got over 4,000 views on that one video alone. And my review was very positive. Now I'm not saying you have to do a positive review because you don't have to do that. Just tell your truth. Like if the if the class was, wasn't a good class or you use a product and it wasn't good, tell the truth because people love the truth. But I really did have nothing but positive things to say about the class. And if y'all get a chance to take the class, if you're a new YouTuber, you definitely should do that. Like she also has a group and it's going to be like a, a monthly subscription. You should take that too because I'm planning on getting into that group. <laughs> but check her out. Her name is Peach McIntyre. And tell us what you sent you. That's what you want to tell them. So that was the biggest thing for me. Um, and within six days, I gained my 100 subscribers. And that was a big deal for me because I literally came on YouTube and I had three subscribers. So within six days, when it turned to 100, listen, I felt impossible. I felt like I could do anything. And I was so excited. Like, I was excited for my three subscribers. I was excited when it got to 10. 15, you know, I was just very much so excited. Um, another thing is I'm very, very consistent. I'm consistent with my videos. I put out 13 videos in two weeks. Literally, 13 videos in 14 days. If that's not consistent, what is consistent? You tell me, what's consistent? What's consistent? Because that's consistency there. So, it's like the more videos you put out, YouTube going to say, oh, she's serious about YouTube. She's serious about what she's doing. But let me recommend her videos. That's what they started. They started to recommend your videos. And that's what they've been doing, recommending my videos. And guess what? I've been loving it. I've been loving the views, the comments, the likes, the dislikes, because I have got some dislikes. And it's okay. Also, notice... Views do not equal subscribers. Views do not equal subscribers because I have over 4,000 views all together. And as of today, I think I had 237 subscribers. Just know, people will not subscribe to you because they see one video. Or they won't subscribe to you because if they click on your video and then the last time you posted a video was let's say a month ago three weeks ago you're not consistent enough so they don't think okay well i don't know when she's gonna post another video i don't know when he's gonna post another video i don't even know if they're serious about youtube so no one's just gonna subscribe to you just to subscribe to you it may take a couple of videos for them to watch and your personality if they feel like they can look at you if they feel like they can listen to you because me, I watch videos, but I'm not always watching YouTube or sometimes I'm just listening because I could be cleaning up, I could be cooking or doing anything. So I'm more so just listening. And I'm one of the people who I watch YouTube more than I watch TV. And I don't know if I'm just nosing and trying to be in people's business, but that's what I do. Because I like a lot of day in the life, cook with me, clean with me, all of that. A few reasons why people have told me they've subscribed to me. One is because they like my positive review that I did on Peach McIntyre. My personality, because nobody wants to look at someone who's so drab and so blah, blah, blah. Nobody. And even the people that are actually like that in real life, 
They wish that they weren't like that in real life. Like, they wish they was that upbeat person. They wish that they was brave enough to get in front of the camera. And just know, you can. You can be that person. You can change whatever it is that you don't like about yourself. You can change it. Because sometimes you have to get uncomfortable just to get comfortable. Hope you caught that. Someone even told me they like my video. <laughs> No, they told me they subscribed to my channel because they like my name, Life with Latoya Montana. And in real life, people love my name. They're always like, oh, I just love your name. It's so unique. It's just so cute. Latoya Montana, that's just so cute. So people literally tell me that all day. Being positive, like just keep a positive like view on everything and just know you might feel like your channel is not growing as fast as you want it to grow but what you can do is you can say okay i want to get to 100 subscribers in three days okay that's understandable but then you have to write down what are you going to do to get to those 100 subscribers in three days are you going to be more consistent are you going to go on other youtubers and write nice comments are you going to put it on social media, on your other social media platforms so people can watch you? Like, what are you going to do to help yourself get to that 100 subscriber goal? What are you going to do? As of yesterday, which today makes exactly 14 days. So yesterday was 13 days for me. And I had over 200. I hit my 200 mark. So... I'm more consistent with gaining 100 subscribers in six days. I've been very consistent with that for the last two weeks. And I'm excited about that. And my actual goal is to hit 1,500 subscribers by June 15th. So I would love if you can help make that happen for me. I would love, love, love. <laughs> because um, that's one of my goals. That's one of my goals that I set for myself. And so I'm just going to have to figure out, you know, plan what I'm going to do to help me get there. And I feel like me being very consistent is one of the things that's helping me get there. Pushing out these videos. Um, I subscribe to people who that I like their content. If I don't like their content, I'm not gonna subscribe to them. And I feel like everyone feels like that. Like if they don't like your content, they're not gonna subscribe to you. If they feel like they don't like you, they're not gonna subscribe to you. They'll watch you. That's good for those watch hours, but they're not gonna subscribe. <laughs> so, you know, you can just take it how you can. So if this video has helped you in any way, shape, form, or fashion, leave a comment and let me know and if you know other ways that um you can get people to subscribe to you leave it down in the comments because i'm sure other people want to know and i definitely want to know because i'm a new youtuber myself i'm just basically saying what worked for me for those six days and now for 13 days and i'm over 200 subscribers so you know that's just what worked for me and i pray and i hope that this works for you and i hope that this gave you a push to just get out there, like I always say, pull out that phone, pull out that camera and get the recorded, sis, what's stopping you?